Hi there, I'm here to help you better understand your residential electric bill. I know some of you are saying math, no thanks. We get it, so let's make this simple for both of us. The first thing to know is that when you get your bill each month, it represents the amount of electricity you used for the previous month. You can find that important information at the top of your bill. The next thing you want to understand is how much energy you actually used, right? We got you. So take a look at this box labeled Previous Read. That number is the amount of energy in kilowatt hours measured from the meter at the end of your previous billing date. The present read box shows how much electricity was read from your meter at the end of this current billing month. Then at the end, you can see the kilowatt hours used. KWH stands for kilowatt hour, which is how we measure the amount of power you use each month. What impacts your kilowatt hour meter number the most is the usage of lights, TVs, cooking, your water heater, your HVAC system, heating and cooling your home, pools, and other electric devices. Curious about how your power has changed over time? You can find that information here on this helpful bar chart. And over here, you can even check the average amount of power you used each day. And you can see how it compared with how much energy you used each day last year. Simple, right? Now let's look at the box labeled Current Charge Details. Distribution costs represent the expenses related to actually getting the power to your home, such as wires and related equipment. The access charge covers the costs associated with making sure you have access to the electric grid, including substations, poles, transformers, meters, as well as the convenience of having 24-7 response from our trained professionals. Now, let's look at the kilowatt hour charges. Here's how that works. The first 300 kilowatt hours used each billing period are subject to a slightly higher rate than the rest of your energy use. Jumping down to the generation transmission costs. We don't actually generate electricity, we just deliver it. So these generation and transmission costs are equal to the amount we pay our power provider when purchasing electricity to deliver to your home. This is called a pass-through cost because we charge you only the amount we pay for the power. Now let's take a look at taxes and other charges. The county tax is levied by the county you live in. The Virginia consumption tax is a state tax that is regulated by the Commonwealth. This is also the area where you might see charges for programs you enroll in such as the power change, which lets you round up your electric bill each month to support local nonprofits. By the way, you can learn more about this neat program at thepowerofchange.org. If you're on a deposit installment plan, you will also see the expense in this part of your bill. In the unregulated charges section, you would see fees associated with other programs you might have chosen to sign up for, such as our individual outage notification or surge assist solutions. Finally, in this blue box, you will find the current bill amount due as well as the due date. We are grateful to serve you as your electric cooperative. If you still have questions, please reach out to us at office at myrec.coop or give us a call at 800-552-3904. Thanks again for allowing us to serve you.